think you're private because you're using incognito mode? Or anonymous because you use a VPN? Or secure just because you have an antivirus installed? Let's break a myth today, privacy, anonymity, and security are not the same thing, and confusing them could leave you wide open to cyber threats. Let me explain them all, with real-life examples, the differences, and how to balance all three in your digital life. What is security, and why it's not everything? Security is the protection of your data and devices from unauthorized access. Think of it like the lock on your door or the antivirus on your laptop. It stops the bad guys from getting in. Firewalls, antivirus, encryption, multi-factor authentication, all part of security. But here is the catch, you can be secure without being private. Your system might be locked down, but if you're sending personal info to websites that track everything, you're still exposed. What is privacy, and why most people get it wrong? Privacy is about control over your personal data, what you share, with whom, and how it's used. It's like closing your curtains, not because you're hiding, but because it's your choice who sees inside. Example, you're on WhatsApp, your messages are encrypted secure, but Facebook still collects your metadata not private. Privacy tools include encrypted messaging apps, browser extensions like uBlock, and disabling location tracking. Security protects your data from hackers. Privacy protects it from everyone else, including companies and governments. What is anonymity, and why it's not privacy? Anonymity means you can't be identified. You're using the internet, but no one knows it's you. You can have anonymity without privacy and vice versa. Example, using Tor lets you browse anonymously, but if you log into your Facebook account, there goes your anonymity. Anonymity tools, Tor browser, anonymous emails, cryptocurrency, burner phones. Anonymity hides who you are, privacy hides what you do. Real life comparison. Let's say you're attending a protest. Security is wearing protective gear. Privacy is not sharing your personal info with strangers. Anonymity is wearing a mask so no one knows it's you. They work together, but they're not the same. Most people only focus on one. Here's where it gets risky. Some people install antivirus security but give all their data to apps no privacy. Others use a VPN anonymity but still accept cookies and use real names on platforms no privacy again. A truly safe digital life balances all three. How to balance privacy, anonymity and security. Use a VPN or Tor for anonymity when needed. Encrypt your devices and backups for security. Review app permissions and disable data-hungry settings for privacy. Stop using free apps that collect everything about you. Use aliases or secondary emails for non-essential signups. In a world where your data is currency, understanding the difference between privacy, anonymity, and security isn't optional, it's essential. Just because you're using incognito mode doesn't mean you're private. Just because you've installed antivirus doesn't mean you're anonymous. Each piece plays a role, and ignoring even one of them, that's a risk you can't afford online. So, which one have you been neglecting? Thank you for watching, stay secure and follow for more cybersecurity updates.